Hey Kelly, how uh, how comfortable were you with the uh, with the pace in last night's game, and how do you think it maybe helped your game overall? Oh, it was great. Um, it was a fast paced game, up and down, transitional um, game was. It definitely worked out in my benefit for sure. I think in our in everyone's benefit, but at the end of the day, we can do that no matter who's on the court. Um, it's just about finding it and knowing that we can play it at that pace. Is that tough to sustain, you know, every game, 48 minutes? Um, or do you think, you know, you guys can really continue that regularly? I truly believe that we can continue it regularly. If you look at the um, history of the Warriors, that was something that, you know, was embedded within their style of play. So I know that we can get back to that. Kelly, uh, Connor Letourneau, San Francisco Chronicle. What's been the key for you just kind of tuning out the noise this season and, and staying focused on the task at hand? Do you stay off social media? Is it that kind of thing? How do you stay focused? Yeah, I'm off social media. Um, I'm just focusing on, you know, what's in front of me each and every day. Uh, this team, my family, and, you know, just that's what all I really care about, man. So just focusing on that, it really helps me get, you know, through these days. Does it help when you're – with an organization that's really good at communicating and it makes it clear what your role is and kind of being empowering on the day-to-day -day basis? 100%. Um, it's, you know, a great organization. So, you know, it's just comforting knowing that, you know, even on my darkest days that, you know, I know for a fact that, you know, there's 100% transparency. Um, hi, Kelly. Last night. What do you, is that just the pace of the game or was that shots going in? What do you kind of credit that to? Um, I think it was just an ultimate flow. I was able to find a flow, find a rhythm early on in the game. And, you know, definitely the pace played a big factor in it because it was not much room for error or not much time to think. So, you know, that definitely played a big factor. Hello, Kelly. Christoph Charles from Greece. I would like to ask you, what was the most enjoyable enjoyable part for you about uh, last night's game? The win. And about your performance? The win. So I was just happy that we got the dub. You know, we have another tough task tomorrow. Um, you know, and we have to handle it the same way, professionally. You mentioned, I think it was on the broadcast maybe uh, the challenges of kind of like you know learning the warrior system what has been what have you learned maybe over the first whatever it's been six weeks of the season and and what's been a challenge um just learn how to just you know block out and stop putting added pressure onto myself you know from all the outside energies and outside forces and you know hone into my chi and pretty much just access that power that i have within to go out there and perform Kelly, what are the things that make you the most comfortable in a game? Like, what are the ingredients that help you find your rhythm and play your best? Just not, not thinking, um, going out there, you know, following the coach's game plan, and most importantly, just having fun. Um, you know, it's, this is a game at the end of the day. You know, all this other extra stuff, is, is it comes with the territory, but at the end of the day, you know, I play this game to have fun and, you know, to really just go out there and do what I love to do, so. Uh, hi, Kelly. Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. Uh, it's been almost a year since you had your meniscus surgery. Was that something that was preventing you from getting to the top of your level? And do you think now going forward, now that you're in that window, because it's supposed to be a year until you're 100% and your body feels right. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think now that knee is, how is that knee? How do you feel going forward with it, with that time frame being almost done? I feel amazing. Um, you know, no, no issues with the knee. Uh, I do believe that everything happens for a reason. So if that's, um, you know, if that's true, then, you know, the, the most high definitely has, you know, it is store for me to take off soon for sure. You've mentioned your chi a few times. Is, is, is uh, meditation something you're into and, and how has that kind of helped you this season? I mean, it's always helped me. Um, it really just allows me to center, you know, block out all outside forces, um, you know, that. If you if you ever see me pregame, I'll, I'll sit on the sideline and meditate. I'll just look at the four lines um, on the court and just block out everything that's not within those four lines and just go out there and do my job. So I think that, you know, it's very helpful for me to just continue to just stay focused, stay locked in and ready. Has that been something you've done your whole NBA career or is that something you picked up recently? Uh, not my first two years. Um, you know, I was still trying to, you know, fight to find out, you know, 
what I could potentially do in this league and, you know, fight for minutes, things like that. But once I kind of got a um, consistent flow of minutes and, you know, was able to compete at the high level, you know, I, I, I recognized that that was something very important for me. Kelly, you might have to educate me. Does chi mean energy and can it have ebbs and flows? And like, how do you control it? Um, honestly, yeah, chi does mean energy. Um, it just means, you know, the force, the power, um, should, how you can control and connect each and everything, mind, body, and spirit. Um, it, that's pretty much what it is to give you uh, the simple version. It's just connecting the mind, the body, and the spirit, you know, so that you can unlock your full potential. Kelly, how important for you was uh, the presence of uh, Clay Thompson in this trip? It's great. Um, team camaraderie. Um, you know, he's a, he's somebody that we love to see. Um, so, you know, when he's around, it definitely gives us a boost of energy and a morale boost because, you know, he's rocking with us even while he's going through his dark days right now. And, you know, I'm just truly grateful for a great teammate like that. You know, not a lot of people do that.